De La Wright, my envious. Welcome. Yes, so it is said that only a wise person can solve a difficult problem. Queen Naomi shock as her uncle allegedly turns against her mom. I said um, Naomi should stay. You all say she should go back. And now you receive such voice note and sent it to her. Why? Do you really want Queen Naomi's marriage to Oni of Ife to work or not? That is what is going on. Now, as we are hearing what is going on, um, nobody mm. knows the dynamics of things um, uh, right now. So mm. I do not expect anybody mm. to judge uh, because we don't know how all of this happened. But it is what is going on right now if the information we are getting is the truth. Now, you do heard about the voice note where... A, a young woman had uh, 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 sent a voice note, being very frantic, talking about her expecting a twin for KBSC. And she wanted Naomi to know that they will be welcoming a twin soon. And KBSC is likely to bring her in anytime soon and all of that. Now, the question is that, why is it that you think it is necessary to send this kind of voice note to Olori Naomi is what nobody knows. But here is the problem. They said that the um, uncle to Olori Naomi, who is slated to go back to Australia on Friday um, this week, right, is like being so upset and turned against Olori Naomi's mother. Now, they say Naomi's mother has been crying and trying to explain, and the man is not accepting any explanation. Now, they say that she, this man said that with everything that has happened, with Na I mean to Nami in the royal palace. Nami should stay and start a new life. Let them fight to get Nami's freedom. But everybody says Nami should go, including the mother. That the mother supported her going back. And with everything that the owner of Ife did and him, the uncle said, okay, it's fine. If Nami wants to go back, let Nami go back to her husband. But the anger of Queen Nami's uncle is that if you want that marriage to work, how is it possible that you got a hint of this voice note and you still allow the voice note to get to Olori Naomi? Now, this is what we are hearing, if the information is true. You do know that the voice note was not sent to Queen Naomi's personal phone because people don't have access to that phone. This made me to talk about how you can uh, close your phone and make sure that, because one of the biggest problems we have in this world is coming from outside. And the, the channel is through our telephones. People will troll you, people will call you names, people will call you and ask you for phones that you do not have. When you say you don't have the phones, they will say you are stingy, they will say this family will disturb you, gossip here and that. The only channel you and I know most times is usually through the phone. And so it, right now, it, they have made it so easy for you to be able to block all of these channels of disturbance by simply turning on a future inside your phone, I told you that most of the Android, even the one that you have that you're using to listen to this message, you need to look for that future. The future, if you turn it on, the only thing you need to do is to remove that phone number from your phone and put it in your diary inside your phone or write it in a paper and keep it. So that anytime you want to use the phone number, you can carry it and put inside your phone and you dial. But as long as that phone number is not in your contact list inside your phone, that person cannot reach you. They cannot reach you. They can never reach you. Right? Now, let me not digress. Uh, people were wondering how Nami is able to get all of these messages. I've been able today to tell you how she's able to get all of these messages. She has um, a phone number, that one that is for her church. That one, me, I, I also have that one. And she has another phone number, the one that is for the Ife, those uh, community. And that's the one that has been broken right now. The one for her church is still there. And that was why KBSC said, get a PA so we can train that PA on how to censor your phone, your messages. Now, Kabi has invited that deaconess in Naomi's church who received the first voice note of that woman claiming to be having 
um, uh, expecting a twin for Olori Nami to the palace and slam that woman back to back that if Nami were to be your daughter, will you receive such a phone a, 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 a voice note and sent to Naomi. The woman cried and cried and cried. In front of KBSC, the woman did not say anything. But when the woman came back, the woman called Olori Naomi's mother because she did not send that message. Sorry, let me sip my tea. She did not send that message to um, uh, Queen Naomi. She sent that voice note to Queen Naomi's mother. That is what she said. At least that is what we are hearing you know, if the information is true. Do not forget that Delaram will always tell you that I do not live in the palace. These are all alleged, rumored, speculated, no be me talk only information. And whatever information you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt, right? Mm hmm. Now, now, before I continue, I want to give a shout out to our channel members. So happy new week to you, mommy. I bet they, mommy. I love you. And, you know, mm -mm, I love you because, Omo, I miss you. I miss you, mommy. Abby, I miss you because you are, you, you know, your own talking, the way you just say it, the way it is, right? Then Mommy Kay Day Adeni, Madame Gloria Kra, Madame Joyce Ndubueze, Tony Uzo, Madame Tony Uzo, Madame Busy B, Mommy Elizabeth Algorede. I miss my people so much. Oh. Mm -hmm. Daddy Taiwo Aliba Logon, Mommy um, uh, Head Bello Adetayo. Good measure, press down, shake it together, so shall your blessing be. See, anybody, anybody, anybody who wishes you bad, <laughs> the thing will fall on top of their head one million times. As a matter of fact, I just know that anybody that wishes you bad, the, the, the beef is double. Because I am praying for you every day. God is going to bless you from the depth of my heart. I, I, am, I am grateful. I am grateful. See my knees on the ground. I am grateful to you guys. The love eh? oh, man, is too massive. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, my people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, as we are hearing... This woman now said that she sent the message to mommy Naomi. She did not send the message to Naomi. So how the message got from mommy Naomi's phone to Olori Naomi is what we do not know. And the thing is not small. The uncle now is dragging Olori Naomi's mother like a past my neighbor generator. How did this message get to your phone, from your phone to Lori Naomi? So you, you don't know that when you get something like this, you get to hide it. Why is it necessary to send such a message to Olori Nami? Nami does not need it at this time. It's not bringing any value to Olori Nami. You of all people should know this. And the same, this happens to be what Olori Nami's uncle is saying. And the man is so upset um, 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 that... This has been happening over and over. Even at this point, you've not been able to learn. You think that my mission is that my niece will not marry. If she wants to stay with KBS, let them allow her stay in peace. And all of these avenues where all of these messages are coming from, you need to block it. It's unfortunate that Nami is a people person. She wants to reach out. She wants to love. She wants to help and all of that. You people know the reason why those phones, no, those uh, lines are open to the public. Now you should be able to shield this. When this woman sent this message to you, how did it get to Olori Naomi? That is the question. They say, Mommy, Naomi has been crying and crying and crying. That is what we are hearing. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Do not forget these are all alleged, rumored, and speculated information making the rounds on social media.